Hi, I'm Dr. William Morgan, and I'm here today with uh, Chambers Medical Group uh, to talk for a little bit about hip pain. Uh, many people that I see following a motor vehicle accident will frequently say to me, Doc, I hurt my hip, and they'll point to this part of their body, and it was basically uh, kind of blamed on for all pain seen in that area. I just want to go over some of the differential diagnoses or the different types of problems that arise as the, in that uh, all is not as it seems. Frequently when we see people with so-called hip pain, there are multiple other types of problems, got, including the spine as well as the pelvis. So I'd like to go over a little bit of that anatomy and a little bit of what happens. In the accident, uh, my friend here will show you what happens to, uh, to the hip uh, in the accidents, uh, the patient will frequently be sitting and therefore would be in this position. So let me point out a few things. This is the uh, femoral head. This is what uh, articulates or forms a joint with what's called the acetabulum. So it's a ball and socket type of joint that happens uh, in the uh, hip joint. And what occurs is that normally there's a good tight fit and people have good range of motion. What occurs in the accident is many people will be sitting and as they're sitting and suddenly come to a stop, they may uh, f uh, go forward, hit the dashboard and there's a force on the femur that causes it to be stressed back at the hip joint here. So that force at times may be strong enough to actually what we call dislocate the hip, which pushes it out like that. The ball and socket comes out of the joint itself. For many times, it will fracture the very uh, end of the acetabulum, which is the socket itself, but usually it'll end up in a fracture of the hip joint or a fractured dislocation. And those fractures can happen here at the neck of the femur where they can happen in what's called the trochanteric line. They're intertrochanteric fractures. And that's just for, for me to have to decide later what kind of surgery we do uh, based upon those uh, issues. Uh, many times, and, and that would be true hip pain, or people with arthritis who have lost articular cartilage and have an accident and bump their knee, and now it's incited the arthritis. So many times I can tell when someone comes walking into my office, because if they're limping on that hip, it probably is the hip joint. If they're saying I have hip pain, but are walking normally, generally it'll mean other things, and I'll go over some of those things uh, with you. Uh, this, uh, the femur is connected to the acetabulum by the pelvis, and this is called the iliac wing of the pelvis itself, and these are called the pubic rami uh, down below in this area here. And what happens frequently, there could be a fracture from all the trauma in the motor vehicle accident that uh, has broken one of the pubic rami, so partial pelvic fractures. So those have to be looked at. Uh, the other thing that is a problem is this is called the sacroiliac joint. So these are joints in the back that we can kind of feel, there's a little bit of a, uh, a thickening in the back of um, near your buttocks. And these joints can be displaced. They're like a, a hip joint or a knee joint. And with a proper type of force, they can become unhinged and cause the pain that people would uh, recognize as hip pain. Uh, and then frequently, or most frequently, what we end up seeing are people with spine injuries. And they'll come in and say, Doc, my hip is killing me. And we may get x-rays and show that there's no problems going on with the spine. Uh, and frequently, uh, what will happen uh, is they'll tell me that they have pain that's right here in the level of their buttocks. So they confuse the buttocks with their hip pain frequently. And that tells me, if I ask more questions, they'll tell me I'm having numbness and pain going down my leg. And uh, frequently what that associates with is a herniated disc in the lumbar spine. And uh, we'll go into more succinctly exactly how that comes about and what it means in terms of treatment and outcome.